and hello YouTube, GS Mammal Smart here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at one of the new features that came in the Premiere Pro Spring Release, the Essential Sound Panel, which allows you to do a ton of cool new things that you probably would have done in Audition before, or taken a lot longer to do in Premiere Pro, such as auto-matching sound levels, matching music with dialogue levels, and all kinds of cool presets even, so really awesome stuff in this cool little sound panel, and that's what we're going to take a look at today. Hey guys, GS Man, I'm Smart here. Today with another brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Welcome back to another video. Glad to have you and thank you for stopping by. If you happen to be new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel as well and I want to welcome you as well. We have plenty of other tutorials on Audition, Premiere Pro, video editing, image editing, GIMP, Audacity, Photoshop, all kinds of cool things. So if you're interested in software, creative content, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button as well as that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. All right, so in the April release, uh, Premiere Pro actually got some new features. Now we already have a video on the graphics panel, the essential graphics panel, which allows you to edit after effect templates and motion graphic templates within Premiere Pro. And it's really awesome, really cool. One of the best features I think that came out of this spring release. So if you wanna check that video, I'll click the link in the description as well as the card on screen right now and it'll take you to that video, really cool video. And I think you'll learn a lot. However, there's also another feature that they included, which is the essential sound panel. Now, if you go up to Windows, go to Essential Sound, which is right underneath Essential Graphics, you'll see we have a brand new panel pop up. So here, what you'll see, we have four different options. If I go ahead and click a track here, we have the option to make something dialogue, music, sound effects, or ambience. And what this basically does, it tags a audio channel as a specific type. So if this is your audio here, this is your audio channel where you have all of your audio files, then you would click dialogue. If this is your music channel where you have all your music, that will be music. And the same goes for sound effects and ambience. Uh, you can dedicate tags for those specific channels, which will also give you additional options to manipulate those specific uh, types of audio. So for example, here we have our, let me go ahead and mute the music here real quick. Here we have some dialogue, some audio where we're talking. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it real quick just so you can see that there are some issues with this audio. And hello YouTube, GS Mem Smart. Today we're on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new sound panel. So as you can see, most of the audio is around this area right here. If we listen to the next part though. So this new sound panel actually has quite a few features that I really like. The audio is really high up here. So what you used to have had to do was actually, you know, go into here, find an effect that either auto matches the levels, or you'd have to play around with the audio bar here to move it up or down. Or you would go into audition and do all that pre-editing. However, now what you can do is we can go ahead and highlight all of our audio where we're talking, our dialogue, and we can go ahead and either select a preset here, or we can click dialogue. And I'm gonna go ahead and select a preset, and we're gonna go ahead and select dialogue here, and I wanna make my voice be more up close. So we're gonna put make close up. And what you'll see then is this adds a bunch of effects to our audio tracks here that's part of dialogue. And then you'll also see those effects in the effects panel. So if we click one of our tracks, all the effects have been applied here and you can edit them as you wish. You can also edit them very easily on the right side here. And this should have made it sound like our voice is a bit more up close now. If you don't like something, you can very easily change it with the sliders here. You can enable effects and disable effects in the checkbox here. So it's really intuitive, very easy to go through this and it doesn't take a lot of time either. If you want to change EQ presets, you can do that right here without knowing too much about audio. All you gotta do is play it and listen through. Now, if you wouldn't have selected a preset, you would have gotten a few of these options as well, and you could have played around with them or added new effects to it, and the, essentially the same thing would have happened. You would have been able to change any values you want the same way. So that's one of the cool things. You can now tag certain audio channels as dialogue music, and also apply a multitude of effects based on presets, which, which are then applied to your track as different effect layers and you can easily manipulate them in the essential sound panel in an even easier fashion. 
The other cool thing is that, and this really resonates with me because for a lot of my YouTube video, I end up fine tuning the audio by moving the bar up and down here. Well, now you don't need to do that anymore. Now we actually have a level tab here. And this level tab is actually in real time. If we take a listen to this, the ability to auto match music with dialogue, the ability to change levels a lot easier now, and a bunch of other things that just make audio editing a lot. It's even live. So this is really useful for me because a lot of times in my videos, I'll be fine tuning audio, moving this up and down a bit. And now if you wanna have fine tuning control, you can use the levels at the bottom, which makes it a lot easier and less finicky to find the exact location of certain bars. And you don't have to mess with the audio mixer, which will take up another uh, portion of your editing workspace here if you don't have a huge monitor. So that's basically that. However, the other really cool thing, which is also really useful, is you'll see that both of these audio tracks are at different levels. I showed you earlier in the video that one is louder, one is lower. Is that if we go under loudness here, we can actually auto match both of our tracks here so that they sort of sound equally and one doesn't sound too low and one doesn't sound too high. So you can click auto match here and this will basically change the wave forms. As you can see, if we don't auto match them, they're sort of lower there and they're higher here, now they're about equal. So that's pretty much all the cool things you have in Premiere Pro regarding dialogue. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the audio track here. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is match the loudness. New sound panel in Premiere Pro. So this new sound panel actually has quite a few. Now as you can see, if we don't add that preset of make close up, it actually sounds a lot better. Uh, for certain microphones, close up will work if your microphone is a bit far further away. However, I have a Yeti right in front of me, so I don't need that close up preset. So it works pretty well with the auto match. I'm gonna be using this a lot. Now we also have another thing for music. So here's our music. If we go ahead and listen to our music, you'll see it's very loud and it overpowers our, uh, our dialogue. So you, can, you can't even hear, uh, you can barely hear the dialogue. However, what we can do is we can go ahead and click make this a music file. We'll tag this audio, uh, we'll tag this piece of audio as a music file. And what you can then do is really cool thing. You can actually change the duration of things. So if you remember a while back, I had a video showing you how to remix music in Adobe Audition to basically fit the exact length of a project you're working on in Premiere Pro. If you want to check that video, I'll have a link in the description as well as a card on screen right now, and you can go ahead and check the video. It's really cool. It works wonders. I've used it so many times. Well, now Premiere Pro has its own little version. I do still think Audition has a more powerful version. It's a bit more accurate. It sounds a lot better. It sounds more genuine, more natural, less artificial than Premiere Pro's here. However, uh, if, if your track is off by a few seconds or 10 seconds or five seconds, then this will work great. Otherwise, you may see some uh, really noticeable differences in your music. But the really cool thing is that what you can now do is actually match audio with your dialogue. Now, this is awesome because a lot of times, like I said, I have music in my gaming videos for my gaming channel. And a lot of times I'll be there sitting for five, 10 minutes, trying to go through each part of the song and make sure that everything is leveled and then making sure the dialogue is still hearable. So now very easily we click auto match here. You'll see that it actually brings the music down to a relative volume where you can still hear the music, but clearly hear your voice. And now we take a listen to this. And hello YouTube, GS Memo Smart, today we're on a brand new video for tutorial with GS. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new sound panel in Premiere Pro. So this new sound panel actually has quite a few features that I really like, the ability to... So as you can see, it really gets you a huge jump start on not having to mess around with it too much. If you need it a bit lower, you can always go to levels here and lower it just a bit. Auto match music with dialogue, the ability to change. So there's always that option to fine tune it even more with the levels here or with the uh, bar here that you can drag up and down. But this is just fantastic. Now it saves me a whole ton of time in matching my dialogue with my music and it's a lot quicker. 
So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Any comments, suggestions, things that I may have missed in the sound panel that you think are very essential and people should know about, or any confusions you may have, additional questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have as usual. And if you want to check out my most recent video, go ahead and click the annotation here. If you want to check out another video that's similar to this one, click the annotation here. If you want to check out my gaming channel, vlogging channel, or the others, click the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can click the annotation here. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, and this is GS Mouse Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.